Oh man, behind the scenes, I think our retaining wall got its first big test. Yeah, yeah. We got over four inches of rain in two different rounds this weekend. We got a lot of standing water and a little bit of mud around here, but everything has st stayed put. Exactly where it was supposed Absolutely to be. Absolutely perfectly. Yep. And now we just got to get her finished up. And it's all because of the number one machine, the compactor. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. All right, all joking aside, yep. our compaction definitely paid off. It did. I mean, nothing is settled, nothing is moved. We did reroute the foundation drain, which took some water, but all the downspout drains are still yeah. pouring in. Now, in our defense, they were calling for scattered showers. Scattered showers. Not scattered yeah. monsoons. Yeah. <laughs> they dropped a pin <laughs> on this location. But, uh, man, I'm kind of glad I got a good test and everything held up. I mean, nothing, no signs of anything moving. Now, only thing that I see that has moved a little bit is the shovel got washed out. And it's laying on the side. <laughs> well, our compaction was so good, the water came down the hill, hit that top row of blocks, and ran out the end. Yeah. <laughs> which is which is good. So yeah. all right. Uh I think first thing this morning, we need to get a couple of our water holes drained. I did not do great down here for the record. This was I didn't think we we're gonna get that much rain. I said we get that water hole drained. Yep. We got a water hole over there drained. I can reach just far enough to, to dump dirt in that top because mm -hmm. that very top one's not backfilled, but I can't really do anything with it. So let me get these water holes drained. Why don't you switch over to the three foot bucket on the mini? Mm -hmm. I'll start throwing some dirt up the hill at you. All right. Because we need to get that top one backfilled. And once we get that top one backfilled, we need to get all of our uh, gutter drains tied into a pipe we're going to bring down over the hill. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah, we gotta right. get all them redirected now. All right, Operation Hole Drain is a go. And uh, won't you do a little bucket switcheroo? All we'll right. see if we can tag team this and you think you can keep up with my big bucket? I don't know about that. <laughs> as long as you put it where I need it and I ain't gotta do anything, I'll well, keep up with it. The whole purpose of you <laughs> is to put it where I need it because I can't reach it. <laughs> this right here is kind of our temporary crossing. I think we are pretty much done. I can step across this ditch. We're gonna go ahead and just dig this out and let it drain. We'll use some of this dirt for up on top. It's still some pretty good material. We're gonna put a pipe in here because we really weren't calling for rain and we knew it was just temporary. So we did back up a little bit of water. So we need to fix that. Good drain out pretty quick. I got a pipe stepped out the bank over there somewhere we gotta find. One hole drain that didn't take long. It's got a nice solid rock bottom, so it's like we got a bunch of mud to deal with. Let's uh, see if we can reach up there and get this other one drained. All right, there goes hole number two. To reach that up there, I can't sit close enough to the wall to where I can spin, so I'm going to put the bucket on backwards, basically track up to the wall dump, track away from the wall so I can rotate, grab some of this dirt, and then we'll uh, get her up there and get her backfilled. All right, first scoop up and over. Luckily, our pile here, the rain didn't hurt it anyway. We actually got a pretty decent amount of moisture in it now, which should pack it in pretty nice up there. See if we can get up and over the wall.
All right, you got it. Yes, yeah, if you can, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah. If you uh, if you just keep going, I'll get this drug over here where I can get down in here. Yeah, Like operating on top of a big old ledge. A little sketchy for me. I know you're a little more used to it than I am. Your concentration level is like a nine and a half. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <dude. laughs> and whenever I do look over, I'm like, oh no! <laughs> I keep forgetting that it's there. So. All right. We are close to having enough dirt in here to do what we need to do. 
we're gonna polish this up here a little bit and then uh we got a downspout line three downspout lines one foundation drain we got to get all tied together and get over the hill somewhere so i'm gonna hop on the 304 here and uh, just kind of polish this up a little bit for aaron and then it's gonna be pipe time Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, watch it there. There's a bucket. Yeah, they did. Uh, whole time I was up there swinging back and forth, I never hit it. You were you were getting in my way the whole time. Uh, that goes to that uh, 360 uh, walk around, but we'll call it a 360 spin around. Check your surroundings. I'm not an operator. That's like my favorite machine. Yeah, there's one little dirt hill right there that you're on. Yeah, you're getting ready to go down. Yeah, your blade is kind of like right on it. Come here, puppy. Come here, puppy. Good dog. Way to listen like Michael. Yeah, you are listening like TP. Right back over there where I told you not to go. Come on, come over here, Michael. Good boy. Oh, you listen to me. Stay over here. Michael, get over here, boy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Good boy, Michael. Yeah, I think so. All right, man, behind the scenes, I'm thinking what we need to do is come up here. Let's start digging that one first. All right. Somewhere between here and there, and the outlet of that pump, that sewer pump comes out of there. That'd be a really not crappy yet. day if we hit that. No, I, I am not a plumber. <laughs> I know a plumber. You know how you become a plumber real fast? You hit a sewer line. <laughs> <laughs> so the operator becomes the uh, the plumber then? We know a plumber if we need one. Do we know one? We know a couple. We know a couple. But they never answer their phones. No, uh-uh. Especially whenever it's like 911 help. Yeah. All right, so I, well, you want to scratch a few inches out through there and then maybe we'll kind of we'll actually use our probe for its intended purpose. Yeah. See if we see yeah, it. It's probably a two inch line. Um, yeah, this is going to be Spaghetti Junction here for a little bit. Yeah. You know, I didn't check all the teeth staying on that bucket. Haven't used it yet. Yeah, you have. No, I haven't. Oh, no, we haven't used it yet. No. That's right. So, boy, yeah. if you had a thumb, I think you'd be pretty good help, buddy. He hangs in there like a hair in a biscuit. He's better than Matt. Yeah, yeah, he does. <laughs> all right, let's uh, stop stalling and start digging. Yep. I'll hold the camera. Up a little. You're on it. You're on it. Uh, 
up and over a little bit. It's uh, about right here. Oh, okay. 10-4. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, that's Ain't seen anything yet. Come in behind the scenes. We found our pipe without busting it. Yeah. Now we just gotta find it two more times without busting it. Yeah. At least we have a depth and a trajectory. <laughs> yes, we do. So now that we know where that's at, I think I'm gonna slide back up in there and uh, knock a little make it a little bit deeper because i think we're basically going to need to come right across the top of that ain't we yeah is what you're thinking right across that top of that and then wherever you can ties you can say to the house yeah run out because i think our line is going to run parallel to it about three or four feet over yeah um, all right let me get this dug out then we got to find that foundation drain yeah uh then from there we're home free yep I don't know if you guys can even see out there. Visibility out of this thing is horrible. <coughs> but we've kind of fumbled around here a little bit and uh, got all of our trenches <coughs> dug in up here on top. Aaron's going through and kind of getting a fitting inventory to see how we did. We threw a few extra, a few extra fittings on the truck and I think we're going to need them, but I think we got enough. So we finish up this last little bit here. But I think I'm gonna have to track this machine around and we'll have to kind of climb up the bank from the back side here and uh, get ourselves headed over the hill here at some point. Well, man, behind the scenes, we got all of our digging done. In true yep. plumbing fashion, we're one fitting short. Yeah. But it's not our fault. No, it isn't. We found a mystery pipe. Yeah. We're thinking it's the drain behind that wall up there, but we don't know for sure. Yeah. But we're going to go ahead and hook it up, make sure everything's good. So we got uh, everything dug out, pretty much ready for pipe. I say we uh, go grab lunch real quick, grab us a fitting, mm -hmm. come back and get this plumbed up. Yep. You think this is how big box stores deliver pipe? Yeah, just like this. I think it's gonna work beautifully. Yeah. It's gonna save us a lot of shuffling. Yeah, it is. Eddie, get broke. It's your fault. This was not my idea. Well, we bought extra. We're using that extra up right now on the uh, new uh, drains that we found. Hold that, hold that. You wanna pull up a little bit? Pull forward? Yeah, pull forward a little bit. All right, now go up a little more. Hold that, hold that. Forward, forward a little bit. All right, hold that for a second. One pipe. We got one pipe. I'll pull the gate out, you pull it. 
got it. All right. Nothing broke. Man. Heck out, throw him up over the side. Yeah, it does. All right. All right, man, behind the scenes, you ready to become a plumber? A little sweeping in 90 works out really good there. That'll work. Let's, right. let's do this. All right. The man behind the scenes for not being plumbers that looks absolutely exceptionally well yeah yeah it does what do you think getting gutters lot drains that you didn't know about yeah everything's tucked in there our wire up there looks awesome everything's tied to the house i don't think a, i don't think a professional could have done any better no uh -uh. <laughs> so i can't get around here to backfill because we need to finish our transition going over the hill so what if i hop down there in the hyundai and uh i think we're done with this bench aren't we yeah i'll get that bench filled in but we can walk the 304 up right here i should be able to reach up grab into that hole and basically we take off down on the hill correct should be able to yes all right well if you want to maneuver that thing around all right. i'll uh maneuver that dirt up and We'll keep on going. Alright. Oh, even if I am even if I am digging backwards, man, it's nice to be back in the big machine. I don't mind running mini excavator, but I'm just not a fan of that one. But we don't use it enough to it's a good reliable machine and we just don't use it enough to be justified buying something I do like, so. We get by. But I'm gonna get this is that little platform I built to kind of be able to get up there beside where we are working to reach that top, which we don't need no more, so I'm gonna get this dirt work back up the hill so we can get the 304 up the hill. And we should be able to. Bring our downspout pipes down over the hill to the ditch. Or at least that's the plan. We already hauled the compactor out of here, so I'll probably just take the excavator bucket and kind of tamp it in. Shouldn't be any major concerns with the slide and being benched out like that. And the slope on the hill is not that bad right here, so should be in good shape. Well, I didn't sign up to be Daredevil today, but... No. Uh, 
I guess we're gonna see if this cat can climb a hill. <laughs> yeah. That thing don't have to climb the hill, it's got the reach. Yeah. This thing here don't have the reach. Why? Uh, you wanna go up there on top and kinda give me an idea where I need to start from because I can't okay. see to get a reference? Yeah. And then I think if we can get this first two or three sections of pipe on, once we get down to about right there, we're gonna be home free. And then we run out glue. <laughs> don't be saying it. I, <laughs> hey, I asked. I didn't say it, you said it first. I said, do we have enough glue? You said, yeah, we got a full can. We did have a full can. Evidently, you knocked it over and spilt it all over no. the shovel handle. Yes. yes. Yeah. And this is where you say, man behind the scenes marks the spot right here. <laughs> yeah, you weren't up there on that either with the other one. You ain't got a long reach for that thing, do you? Long reach for the mini be real nice right now. Oh, I was, sorry. I'm back on the spot. Nope, you're about two foot short. Hey, but you can use that dirt to fill it behind you if you need to. Yeah, two foot. Um, your one track ain't even on the ground at all. That's it right there now. Oh, sh oh man. I think you're getting really light back there. You might want to put your blade down and call that good. Yeah, I can. Oh. <laughs> All right, now, all you gotta do is, is come up and go to your right a little bit. Yeah, go ahead and dig that out. No, I'm perfectly fine here on this stable ground now. Should be able to see that pipe. You're just, uh, yeah, there you go, right there. Right there. Bam, on the money. Like I said, I don't know what you'd do without me. Yep, that's good right there. All right, when you back up, keep your weight, uh, shift the, your butt cheeks over to your left. And I think that I'll put enough weight on that track to hold it down this time. Oh, easy killer.
Yes, sir. I know it's just a test fit, but for some daredevil digging, yeah, it's pretty doggone good. It's in there pretty good. I like it. All right. I say we glue it up, and then uh, we should be on the home stretch. Yeah. We gotta use our glue in moderation. Yeah. You probably. I hate to do this to you. You probably have to go back. Oh, like that. Maybe See the water. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even need glue on this one. All right, the dirt. All right, mega permit. Ready? There we go. Oh, oh yeah. That was beautiful. That is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Like yeah. And the camera shows how steep this is. It's almost like they need a retaining wall here. Yeah. Who'd have thought? All right. Let's uh. Let's keep on going, get this thing to the ditch. Yep. I don't know if we're gonna be able to go straight down the hill, but we should be able to get relatively close the way this lies in here. Dig a little bit farther here and then let's get a couple more pieces of pipe on it and go again. You guys see out there? I can. Throw that dirt downhill. We'll take the big machine and push it back up on top of there. going down through there we'll get that pipe in and for a nasty looking hillside that's a pretty looking ditch you got there oh no you ready yep that's it. all right still got glue left don't worry about my glue <laughs> why do they make the last question why why would they make like primer one color and only one color and cement one color it's the same way equipment paints are colors, they're stuffed different colors. This what he's trying to say is you thought he put an extra can of glue on the truck, but he put an extra can of primer. Because it had the same color. Yeah, my bad. I didn't read. I didn't think I had to read. I thought the colors would do it for me. I was wrong. That was my argument all the way through school. I didn't think I had to read. <laughs> my dude. <laughs> all right, you ready? Uh, oh, yeah, oh, we're going to have to take this back. I'm waiting on you. There's a root there. It used to be a tree there. I gotta go. All right, there we go. All right. We got a little bit of a swag here. I think we can make it work. Right. You think that's running downhill? I got the level up there. I'll put it on here in a second. Right. I'd say it is because water's running. I'm going to say it's probably just right on the line. Yeah. Probably could have used a little more cut. All right, ready? Yeah. All right. Ugh. All right, we're there. All right, good deal. We'll get this next one on. I think we'll be around this little bend. Still got glue? Huh? Still got glue? Don't worry about the glue. <laughs> it could be. Come far, it ain't, come far it ain't my problem. This one's gonna be the one that's gonna be a little tricky. I think she'll go though. Yeah. All right, we'll put the glue on it. All right, we're ready. All right. Come on. All right. Oh! Go. There it is. Right there. Sorry, I had to put you guys in the dirt so I could push. Did I get it? tell you what man i'm good you're so lucky to work with a guy like me i don't know what you do without me you still got glue don't worry about the glue <laughs> i ain't worried about the glue i've got four more connections to make <laughs> all right 
Do you think we'll go ahead and throw a little dirt on that right there to hold it? If I put primer in here, will it mix up? No, I don't, I don't think it works that oh, way. shoot. What if they're the same color? <laughs> Still don't work that way. All right, yeah, I think so. We'll throw a little dirt on there. All right, let me, let me switch and, uh, machines and throw a little dirt on there. Well, hey, I can't put no more pipe in anyways. You didn't dig out far enough. Because I was helping you. Oh. All right, I'll hold the pipe down if you can get covering it. <laughs> How much time you got? I ain't got that much time. If you don't mind, can you jump back on 304 and continue digging out? That's right. You wouldn't know what to do if I wasn't here telling you what to do. You're just starting to kick off, bud. Only took you 20 some years. Still from the guy sitting on his butt. <laughs> well, I got to guide you. The last piece. 170 foot, baby. Last right piece. On the money. You got enough glue? I told you I had just enough for seven more joints. I thought we were only going to have six. So, yes, I got just enough for this. <laughs> oh, squeaking it out, huh? Yep. Squeaking it out. Pretty good for eyeballing that off of uh, oh, there was no Oh, there was no eyeballing. 170 foot's what oh, I told my. you. It's what we were going to need. Glad you listened to me. Well, you just You're good. 160 foot. We're gonna need 180 for it's over with. Actually, we're gonna need 190. <laughs> and you're still one fitting short. One fitting short? For the mystery pipe. No, we're good. Will you please glue we're that so good. we can get this done? I was closer, price is right. Oh God. I didn't go over. <laughs> you went down by our price is right? I guess they knew about our price is right the other day. Yeah. Scrapyard. Yep. All right, well, since you're taking so long to glue that, I'm just gonna sit down and watch. All right, you better be ready. Boy, you're scraping the bottom of the barrel for that glue, ain't you? Oh, yeah. I got it, though. Look at all that dripping off there. All right. You're up. You ready? I'm ready. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yes. Nice. Now we're talking. All right. Let's get this back film call this part of the project done. Oh, man, that's the last, last project within the project, I guess you could say, from here. It's just a matter of getting everything cleaned and polished up. This one will be done. It feels uh, feels good to be closing in on the end of this one. This has been, uh, I guess size-wise, it's not necessarily been a big project, but complexity-wise, it's been a pretty good one. So we get this last little bit of this pipe here backfilled. Aaron's gonna walk the 304 around top so we can get started on backfilling that up there. And get a plan for getting in here tomorrow to get this finished up.
that was another adventurous day. Yes, it was. But uh, all I the never, pups. I never would have thought we'd have got that all done today. Really? No, I mean, well, that was well, the goal for the day. That was our goal for the day, and then we you're had trying to sabotage start. us with glue, weren't you? No, I was. Well, if you wouldn't have pulled it all out over the uh, handle on the shovel, we'd have been in good shape. I'm pretty sure I got enough for a couple joints all over my hands. Yeah. So, all right, man, it's starting to shape up. It's just a matter of getting her cleaned up, but that's going to have to wait for tomorrow. So, that uh, I don't know. It's going to be close if we can get it done tomorrow, but it should come in pretty good. So, yeah. all right. Well, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up. You want to see what it looks like all finished up? I'd consider subscribing. That way, we can catch you guys on the next one. Man, it's looking good. Don't buy. See you guys.